All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just got done live streaming, and I'm just going to be put, putting these videos out here. Uh, we are going to be getting this unit free as well. Uh, apparently, the uh, dwarven lady or whatever. People were saying that she could be good for Belmos because apparently, if you remove debuffs, you increase all your damage by forty percent and stuff. So potentially, I don't know. She seems like she she has a cool outfit. I don't know. She looks decent. But she is a free unit, so, you know, it makes sense why she's not busted. Um, and then the other, here, I, actually, I'll even show her skills. And then I'll, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to her skills right here. I'm going to mute it because it is super loud. Um, and then I'm going to read off what she does. Um, let me go up here. Um, so in deathmatch, whenever your allies remove a debuff, increases all your allies' attack by 40%, and increases attack-related stats by 20%, excludes removal from passive. I don't know what that means. Um, and then there, there we go. We saw the level 1 card. It did a little bit of damage. Like I don't think she's the main DPS, but obviously she hasn't procced her passive because she hasn't cleansed any debuffs. Uh, and then her first skill card is AoE Bleed, which was the first one, the purple card and then the uh second one is charge single target uh so ignores defense i believe just like zaratros so you know maybe she's supposed to be suited for zaratros's position i don't know um and then her ult is weak point so if you have her card on there her bleed then you can have jericho proc as well uh, if you bring jericho and you can also just uh do the ult weak point um i don't know what what race is she she is i don't know what that is is that human is that human let me just double check real quick because i actually can't remember um let's go to bond that looks like it's human, so I guess you wouldn't be able to pair her with Green Jericho, unfortunately. But I, I think she could still be very, very good in my opinion. Um, and then I, I guess, did I even show you the ultimate? I don't think I did. So here's the ultimate. This is the weak point card, remember. And also, she has a very pretty face. Potentially waifu, who knows. And just sucker punches you in the gut. Oofta. Not that much damage, I'm not going to lie, but it's whatever. And then the new Lost Vein. His animations are broken in this uh, thing, by the way, so keep that in mind. It's kind of hilarious. Um, but what his cards do, I will just let you know real quick. Um, at the start of your ally's turn, the hero's ultimate gauge increases as much as the number of the ultimate gauge of the hero with the highest ultimate gauge in the battlefield. So if you're facing a glue eater team and the Eskinor cards merge and he gets two ultimate gauge because you go first, so they get one extra uh, ultimate gauge because of going second and then the merge, you would have two ultimate gauge when Lost Fang comes out on the field uh, or if he starts on the field. Um, his passive starts in the uh, starts in the back as well, um, but I don't know. It says heroes, so if you're against an ultras team, your entire team gets that amount of ultimate gauge. It seems so. He's kind of like a new Merlin in the back with better CC because if they have two ultimate gauge, then you would reflect that and get two ultimate gauge. That sounds busted in my opinion he seems like a really good backline unit like yes he has lost vein ult and all that but like he seems like he's just a better merlin because first skill he ult drains just like merlin and Helbrum, and second skill decreases attack related stats uh just like dreyfus or rugal so it's 30 percent potentially i don't have the gold cards or anything or any of that translation uh they just quickly uh did the skills they didn't actually get any percentages but still thank you to cfw i'm going to shout him out because he has been here ever since the merlin stream i think and he's helped with the rough, rough translation so thank you it means a lot uh, and then his ult is obviously just the same as lost vein uh, i'll let this place so you can see his cosmetics i guess even though they're the exact same um and oh that was it for lost vein apparently 
so let's go to his skills right here these are his skills just be ready just be ready it's hilarious okay and <laughs> it's like he's like an entire like battlefield ahead I think redo no here's the here's the gold card okay Oh, I love it. Oh, that card actually did some damage. Is that AoE? Let me just double check. Uh, no, that's definitely single target. That actually did quite a bit of damage. I believe he is attack crit because he has about the same amount of HP or uh, CC as uh, the regular Lost Van. Okay, so it looks like they're going to use the Deep of card. This is the uh, weak point. I was that by forty percent. Let's see, because if it's by forty percent, that's absolutely insane. For two turns, it looks like yeah, forty percent for two turns, and then his lost vein ultimate. Obviously, it's just the exact same as the OG lost vein. Uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage because he obviously has six cards in hand. Wait, I'm curious. Okay, so in this, does it count his Lost Vein Ultimate as a card? That could be insane. That could be absolutely insane. Oh, they're going to do the ult again? I don't really care. All right, and now we're on to this man. He is a demon. He's a freaking demon. So you guys know what that means. Assault Melee has a chance. Assault Melee has a chance. So I'm going to let this play out, and I'll stop it when it's against the gameplay, but... At the start of your turn, for each enemy who has stat reduction debuff, increases your allies' attack related stats by 10% for two turns, max of three, gives extra to demons. What are, I don't know what that means. It could just be a rough translation, but it also gives buffs. Keep that in mind because you'll find out why. Um, skill one, 120% AOE damage, extorts 10% attack and defense for two turns. And then at the gold, 300% uh, damage AOE and X doors for 25% attack and defense for three turns. And this is where it gets scary. Second skill is Amplify. Also, uh, just like uh, Escanors or Rem. So if he's on the Demon Melody team, he has a two units that have Amplify. He's very tanky, Like you want them with HP defense, not necessarily Assault Melee. But, you know, HP crit, probably. That's why he's at 60k CC, I could only assume. And then his ult is Influx, Eskinor's Bonk card, at 840%. Uh, and then with max Influx effect, it's approximately 1,512%. And you get all of these stacks and everything. It seems absolutely busted. Uh, also, the cosmetics are really lame, so I'm just going to skip to this. The cosmetics look horrible on this man. In my opinion so you'll see him he'll debuff and then since they have the attack down um, he will gain another buff like he just gains buffs whenever they have debuffs come on do the card there geez I don't know why they wait so long 31,000 yes not that much damage but I believe it is aoe right Yes, it is AoE, which is absolutely insane. I think that's absolutely busted. Um, where is this card? Oh, did they just do it? No, they didn't. Where? Okay, it's about to come. It's about to come up. <sighs> just stop talking. There we go. Bop, 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 bop. But I think I missed the really cool animation before it. Okay, rank one. 100,000 damage. Granted, he does have max buffs, but it is type neutral. And uh, a level one card with no go through support or anything like that. And here's the ultimate. Here's the ultimate. Like, the ultimate looks insane. It reminds me a lot like Bonds.
boom, 400,000 damage. Uh, it is amplified, so he basically did double damage. But yeah, that is basically everything that we got from that. So, yeah, I mean, I th they look like fun units. I'm probably just going to go in so I get one six of each, if I can even do that. Uh, d do I recommend you guys summoning? Honestly, no, because I still don't see a counter to Bond. I still think they really wanted Bond to still be good, especially since he's still in global. They wanted people to still summon for him, so hopefully you guys pull him. And if you guys don't, I would recommend saving for the next banner. I don't know if this is a 600 gem banner, a 900 gem banner. I don't know if this is a banner forever, like part one. I saw some people saying that in the chat, so that's why I'm bringing it up. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and yeah, those are all of their skills, and also look at his horrible cosmetics. They look dreadful. <sighs> Don't, I'm not buying his cosmetics, no way. But hopefully you guys are prepared. Have a great day. Peace out.